Hello there guys, my name is Jay or DA and welcome back to another episode of the Old Norse Shipyard build videos where today I'm going to be showing off another house design where I basically looked at the dome v1 and added, improved and hopefully made it a lot more comfortable and made it make a bit more sense than the last one as the last one was very bare bones and didn't have quite a lot of features in. So I bring to you the dome v2. This is a bigger, better, it's got a garage, it's just got more things on it and it, it it's probably about, th I don't know, three, maybe, yeah, three times the size of the old one. So, it's it's pretty big, but I think I, with, with the, the vertical adjustment I've made what by having two floors, I've sort of added a bit more to the one building. So, what we've basically got here now is we actually have... Um, how would you say, we actually have a more defended production area. So on the lat on the old one, we had just like a hydrogen tank sticking out the back, really, really out there and, you know, potentially could take a bit of damage. And now we've actually got a fully protected and armoured system that in a meteor storm and stuff like that could take a bit more of a of a punishment to say the least and I think it I think it will definitely help because again with the old versions it just seemed there was there was too you know it was too no, it wasn't defended that well to say the least so we've gone bigger we've gone better and we've uh, gone a bit more defend you know, defended and whatnot and we've also got this lovely lovely garage which can house two of the rovers that I built and I've only got the one in here at the moment, but you can fit them side by side or in this um, herringbone sort of fashion. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really, really cool to be honest. I've, I've put lights in here that can be used in dark times. So if it is dark, you need to head out for whatever reason. You can turn lights on and these will light up when it does go dark. So it's it's fairly nice to be honest. I like it in here. And again, I've I put full cover over this with glass and it just makes sense. So that all the light still pours through in the daytime, but you're defended from the elements fairly well i mean again meteors will just probably rip through this but if you say have i don't know like rain or whatever you know it, it's fairly covered so it's quite nice i think so that is the garage and i think i've done a fairly nice job in it to be honest i've left it quite open so you guys can tweak with it if you want to and make it whatever you want it to be and i mean you can use this uh, its area as like a staging area for for an operation or something of the sort if this were to be like an operations building or something of the, of the sort so, coming through here, we do actually have like a linked up pathway, which I wanted to make sure was here so you didn't have to come out of the house, down the stairs and round and up the ramp. It just made a bit more sense being, you know, linking up. And we do have a lovely frontage, which is staggered on the one side because I wanted to give it more... Uh, I wanted to give it a, a, a better shape and it just looked a lot nicer doing this and also opened up a bit of space to put, say, some, you know, miscellaneous items in and some chairs so you can just sit around and enjoy the view. And it does look pretty nice having this sort of staggered section. Now, let's go through the door. So, come through here. Uh, we are greeted with this lovely, lovely open space that reaches right to the top of the ceiling with this lovely sort of scaffolded section running right through the middle which basically holds the lights and i really do like this this section it's very open and i actually got a lot of my um design ideas from grand designs believe it or not like having these very big open sort of front areas and it meant that i could put a really nice staircase in put like a centralized seating area in and we've even got like a lovely little fireplace section over here using the uh, the technique of kiashi where he actually put um one of these in and damaged it so it produced smoke and uh yeah we've got like a lovely seated area here over here which keep you warm and then we've just got another one where you can just be watching tv and then we've also got uh just just one where you can basically just be looking out into the you know just out into whatever really just just a chill and we do have some of the working sort of portions of the um building where we do have say a computer tucked away the version one had two screens but i figured let's just have the one because that that's all that should really be needed this you can access all the items in here and all the groups and turn things on and off and whatever and i've kind of concealed it a bit more so the screens the screens are quite garish in the other one where they were kind of in your face whereas this one's a bit more tucked away and when you come around the corner you go okay there's two screens here okay cool so you can you know do whatever with them put a programmable block in where you can you know get um, the lcd 
things popping up on the screen and it'd be really nice i haven't done that just to, to save on time as well as just you know to allow you guys to customize to however you want but that is basically what i've done with a little bit of storage on the back end and then we have a kitchen which is very very slim line it is a bit bigger than the uh, version one we do have a lot of lighting in here as well as windows again i've made sure it's crucial to have as much light as no, as much natural light coming in coming in from the outside as possible because you don't really want to be using the light in daytime it seems pointless doing that so we do have this and we have some benches here just nicely and tucked away you know so you can have more people if you do say have more people um, and you can have them all sit here and eat and whatever and uh, yeah so we'll go round here and where the storage is you do have a full kitted out um, med area so we have two beds we have a chest of drawers we have lockers and then we have the med bay which again is just for healing people and whatever and then the beds are for rested and whatever we then have a toilet tucked away in the background which is again just really nice and neatly just tucked away in the back and you can actually access the storage and whatnot here so it does help allow accessibility to certain things that you may not have access to in here so you do you don't actually have access to that sort of stuff within the building that is the only point that you can grab stuff out so that is one of the downfalls with this, but again, I don't think you need to unless you're transporting stuff. So say you need to be outside to grab stuff out of the connector. So, we go up this staircase and we are greeted with two very lovely open plan bedroom areas. Again, they're just beds and we've got some lockers over here so you can sleep, put your clothes away. It's very, very minimalistic. Again, you shouldn't need that much stuff, to be honest. But um, if... Space Engineers allowed me to mix blocks like Medieval Engineers does, which would be such a cool feature, by the way, Keen. Hint, hint. You know, I'd, I could merge blocks, but until that day happens, if it ever happens, you know, I'll just kind of have to deal with having these blocks that take up probably a tenth of the block itself and then have all this open space, which is kind of a downer for buildings like this. But again, if they work on something similar to what they've got in Medieval Engineers, that'd be brilliant for, for building more house-like structures. So we've got lovely views out onto this lake. Again, we are on a lake. It's, it doesn't make sense, I know, but we are on a lake. And then we have another bed over here as well. It, this this doesn't have as, better, as, as good of a view because, of course, you've got the garage on the other side, which kind of obscures the view, but you can still see the sky, which is nice, and it does still let the light th flow through. And then we just have a general sort of area, just a balcony section where you can sort of come around and, you know, see if anyone's down there. Are they in the kitchen? Are they down there? And you can just see what's going on at the front of the house as well. And if there's anything important you need to, to look at, you can do. So it's a very, very nice building, I think. And I think I've laid it out fairly well. And I know there's probably a few things. Uh, there are a few things I want to do and want to tweak. And I do want to try and make a very small condensed version of one of these. But I, I've been trying and trying and trying and I can't for the life of me find the right blocks that I require. And when you know conveyors get into the mix, it just makes everything three times the size, which is a big problem, but it is not too bad. Uh, just to let you know, each room does have lights. So we have the lights for this, for this main living area that you can turn on and off, which there is a switch just round. Where did I put that switch? Uh, oh, there isn't a switch this one, sorry, you have to switch it on via the control panel, but then we do have a kitchen light switch in here. The uh, toilet doesn't have one that's constantly on because it is a dark room anyway and there's no natural light flowing into there. The med bay has its own lights, the bedrooms have its own lights, and, uh, and then the garage. So that is basically the Dome V2 in a nutshell. Again, there's not a lot more to show. I could show the systems, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, it's very similar to how the Dome version 1 was set up. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And just to let you know as well, this does use double the power and it is quite efficient, to be honest. Um, when you are in a nighttime scenario, the power usage does go up considerably because, of course, you are using lights and they are staying on. So they will drain some of the energy from the batteries. But this all in all does work fairly well and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and I, I really enjoy building stuff like this to be honest. I'm, I'm really enjoying the old North shipyard stuff. It's it's very, very 
new and refreshing and the colour scheme's nice and it fits most of the the, 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 sh the buildings and most of the ship types I'm building at the moment. And uh, yeah, I am working on a rover at the moment which may or may not get released, I'm unsure at this moment of time. It depends if I love it or hate it enough to put it out or keep it to myself. But, you know, I'm, I'm working on some other things in the background and we'll hopefully have another big ship out soon. I've got to give it probably three weeks because I've only got the framework done and I really need to crack on with trying to get the nitty gritty bits sorted. But other than that, that is basically this video. So if you guys have enjoyed this, please like, favorite, and of course subscribe for more. Go and check out the build. It is on the workshop now. The description is uh, the link is in the description below. And I will see you guys later. Peace.